Las Vegas in Nevada is a city of contradiction. Famous for its excess, it's also known for being based slap bang in the middle of a landscape like this. Desert. And that means that saving water is critical to its survival. So where better to come to see some companies showcasing their latest solutions to help save some of our most precious resource. Dutch company Hydroloop has created a system that recycles water within homes and businesses. Our slogan is, be wise, use water twice. The units treat what's known as grey water, so it can be safely used again for other purposes. Grey water is lightly contaminated water from the bath, the shower and from the washing machine. This particular model is designed for use in small homes. Prices start at around 2,000 US dollars per unit. It is integrated with a toilet flushing system. This is the first interview I've ever conducted next to a toilet, by the way. <laughs> we use six techniques. They're all organic. The shower water comes in here and it flows in this tank. Anything that is heavier than water will actually collect here and gets weighted to the sewer. Similar to anything that is lighter, it will float up. We push air into the system, whereby the water here goes up, and here is a skimmer. And anything like hair, anything floating, we get rid of. It goes here, and this is again automatically wasted to the sewer. Then, what do we do? This blue one here. We inject millions of air bubbles. The suspended solids, they make the water kind of the milky color. They stick on the skin of the air bubble. I don't know if you know about this, like, a Dutch beer, I'm from the Netherlands, you know, they pull the beer and then the guy goes like... Yeah, skim the top off. That's yeah. what we do here. It is our vision that within 10 years' time, no house, no building will be built without its own decentral water recycling system. Now, that's one way of saving water inside the home. But what about outside? Canadian company Otto created an app-connected smart sprinkler system to help its users conserve water while maintaining their gardens. All that's needed is a hose and a Wi-Fi connection. The auto is weather intelligent, so that means it's going to skip when it's raining, skip when it's too windy. So that means it's putting down the minimum amount water required to take care of your plants. Shall we switch it on and see what it can do? Yeah, let's go. Oh, cool. Yeah. I love how much I'm trusting this not to actually just come around and spray us. It's very accurate, which is good. Users can also set different zones for the sprinkler to water using the smartphone app. Once you complete the area of the zone, auto will zigzag to fill it in. So let's set up a new zone. Let's call it the BBC zone. So you're basically setting the perimeter of your zone. It's like setting waypoints, really. Right now I can edit this point and uh, you just press edit and then Ooh, it will go wow. right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and still not got a sweat. Yeah. <laughs> Otto Lawn claims its technology can halve water consumption from garden watering. One device costs about 500 US dollars, but more than one may be needed depending on the size of your garden. The UN suggests that demand for water could increase by as much as 30% by 2030, driven by changes in temperature, usage changes and population. What may appear as niche applications now may yet turn out to be some of the most critical in the decades to come. Mm -hmm.